eight months pregnant and I have a doctor's appointment today. So today's Live Rich Adventures are taking us to the doctors for a really fun conversation about sex, baby. We're not talking about you and me, but we're talking about all the good things that could happen possibly when you're pregnant and have sex. Well, kind of, sort of. I had some questions about pregnancy sex, so I asked my doctor if I could come in and ask him a couple of questions and get his medical expertise. And he decided to sit down and he's gonna be sharing with us, so stay tuned because it's gonna be a good one. I am here today with my awesome doctor, Dr. Kears. You guys don't understand. There's a whole story about how I came to find Dr. Kears as my doctor, but I'll tell you guys that on a later, <laughs> at a later time. But um, today we're talking about sex and pregnant sex. Okay. Um, is there such thing as having too much sex while pregnant? Is there such a thing as having too much sex when you're not pregnant? No. There you go. All right. I like it. <laughs> In general, would you say that having sex during pregnancy is healthy yes. for both the mother the and the child? Yes. Yeah? Yeah. Awesome. Because I feel, and I don't know, maybe I shouldn't be generalizing, that men feel as though it's bad for the baby if it's their first child. Have you ever seen the movie Knocked Up? No. Uh, okay. No, but that's, you know, that I, I don't think from a guy's point of view that is an unrealistic concern. Mm -hmm. Okay. It, but it's not based in reality. So it's okay to educate people to let them know, other than for those few groups of people that will do better without it as a general rule. Pregnancy is a healthy interlude in a lifetime. Mm -hmm. And there's no reason why you cannot continue to have usual things that are done in a non-pregnant state. So you can go get your teeth clean, you can get cavities <laughs> filled, you can pay attention to other symptoms that you have unrelated to pregnancy, you can still wear a seat belt. You can do all the things that you're normally supposed to be doing within reason, mm -hmm. right? Within reason. Okay. In your medical opinion, what are the benefits to having sex during pregnancy? I would tell you that there are the same benefits of having sex when you're not pregnant. A lot of nice things occur during pregnancy, but clearly a lot of stressful things that occur to the female body and psyche during pregnancy, right? So it's uh, an area that, that requires special attention. If you have a reasonable relationship with your physician, then there should be ongoing question and answer sessions at the visits. That's what they're all about, right? If it was just to show up for labor, we would need all the other visits, right? So there's That's all the other, you know, psychological damage control that needs to be done at each visit because people tend to drive some crazy with some unrealistic thoughts that are put into their head by the internet or by their friends or their family. Or Grey's Anatomy. And, yeah, or whatever, <laughs> Grey's Anatomy. Yeah. So what inspired this, my curiosity on this topic, was an episode of Grey's Anatomy. I don't know how realistic all of those situations are, but um, it started with a patient who was going into labor. She'd been in labor for 24 hours, and they couldn't give her anything for the pain and all that stuff because she was allergic to everything. Okay. So one of the doctors suggested that she have an orgasm in order to speed up the labor and delivery process. Is that true? Uh, probably not. No? Probably not. So we, we know actually from medical school uh, studies they attached either pregnant medical students or spouses of medical students who were pregnant and they hooked them to a fetal heart rate monitor. And we saw that there was increased uterine activity immediately during sex and for about the hour after sex, uterine activity meaning contractions which just dissipated with no intervention. Mm -hmm. So we, we know it has a stimulatory effect, but as a general rule, is that a mechanism to induce labor or to speed up a process? The answer would be no. So we look at it the other way around. What do we need to do to intervene in pregnancy so that we don't jeopardize it coming too early? We're reasonable at that. Stimulating it in order for it to occur that's uh, not a really predictable response. Okay. Okay. <sighs> no, I mean, not that I was going to prep that into practice, but that's awesome. Yeah. Okay. If you are going to be having uh, sex during pregnancy, would you say that there are certain positions or certain things to definitely avoid while having sex? 
No, I mean, I think what you're going to find is just based on the way the mom's body is changing during pregnancy, there's certainly going to be positions that are easier and more comfortable, mm -hmm. right? But there's no position provided that mom is comfortable, you know, enjoying and comfortable, there's nothing that can't be done. Good to know. <laughs> Concerning the liquids, because you're already kind of like so full of liquids as a pregnant woman. Is it that while pregnant, you secrete more uh, fluids or discharge or whatever the case may be? Um, and does that also affect the, I don't want to say the functionality of sex, but does it make it like more enjoyable or not? Or does it affect the sexual process at all? Okay, so there's a whole bunch of questions. Roll, there really roll, are, roll, sorry. Roll, 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 roll. <laughs> so the short answer to a few of them is the secretions in pregnancy absolutely increase unrelated to intercourse. Okay. So there's just a natural increase of fluid coming across the vagina and from a cervical mucus um, mixing together. So there is, you know, uh, a normal whitish discharge in pregnancy. There's no odor to it. There's no symptoms like itching. Uh, there's no irritation. It's just there. Mm -hmm. um, so clearly when you add, you know, foreplay on top of that, you're going to <clears throat> have more secretions. Mm -hmm. um, how to figure out if it's normal or not is that when all is said and done, you know, you should go back to your baseline secretions. There should not be extra fluid leaking out of the vagina, say, you know, the next morning after you shower and it continues, that, that would not be normal, that needs evaluation. Okay. Oh, interesting. You mentioned something about itching. Should there not be itching ever? Okay, so there's two ways that we get itching. One is because there's something infectious that's causing it. Mm -hmm. The other is that women that get this discharge that's a little bit more than they're used to tend to put liners, napkins, something to collect the moisture, but that unfortunately collects the moisture and then holds the moisture right up against the skin and then irritates the skin. Mm -hmm. So um, if that's going to be the case, then you should definitely frequently change the pad long before it gets saturated mm -hmm. because that's just going to add to the irritation. But you know, you bring this up with your obstetrician, you get evaluated. You just don't randomly treat it over the telephone. Yeah. <laughs> because most of what you're treating is often just completely normal. Mm -hmm. And then uh, lastly, do you believe that there is anything that should absolutely be avoided while having sex while pregnant? At any point? Yeah, I mean, I, I think that, that probably err on the side of gentle. Right, air on the side of conservative, but this is not the time to be getting crazy. <laughs> yeah. okay. I mean, there are so many what ifs that you could do. You know, people are out there doing all sorts of crazy things. The reality is, if you have a bad effect and you know you've gotten crazy, um, and it negatively affects the pregnancy, whether you really cause that or not, you're going to carry that with you forever. Right? You, know, yeah. you deliver a kid that's three, four months premature in pregnancy. Just, you know, kind of get traditional for a little while and just enjoy the ride. Yeah, don't get crazy, guys. Yeah. Um, well, I think that this is it. Okay, perfect. <laughs> hey, Clap for Dr. Cares. Thank you so much. I'm going to have my appointment now. I hope that this video has been super informative and helpful for all of you live rich mommies who are out there still looking to get it in and live your healthy, sexy, sexual lives even though you're pregnant. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, like it, share it, and subscribe to the channel. And leave comments below letting us know what your pregnancy experiences have been like um, as it relates to sex, during pregnancy, and all of that fun stuff. Until the next time, live rich and happy dream chasing. Bye! <laughs> If you like this video, hit that little circle with my face in it to subscribe to the channel. Thank you.